as we've seen, the uh, expressions for current and voltage in the Laplace domain are ratios of polynomials. V of S, I of S will be of this form with a numerator polynomial that we're going to call N of S and the denominator polynomial we're going to call D of S. Um, we have also spent a fair amount of time developing some Laplace transform pairs. I've got just four of them listed here. You can get complete tables of Laplace transform pairs off the internet or out of your textbooks. But each of these different time domain functions, as you can see, transforms into um, ratios of polynomials. They're simple polynomials, generally speaking, but nonetheless into ratios of polynomials. So our approach to performing this inverse Laplace transform uh, process, in other words, our approach to taking a Laplace function of either a current or voltage back into the time domain so that we have a time domain function for the current or voltage is going to be to take this type of expression and break it up into partial fractions. And then by looking at those partial fractions, we will be able to tie them in or fix them so that they are in the form of terms in a Laplace transform table. And by getting them into those forms then, we would then be able to take it back into the time domain, realizing that some constant over S plus A corresponds to a time domain function of that same constant times e to the minus at. So we're going to break it out into a partial fraction, a sum of partial fractions that will be generally of this form, and then by or from our tables be able to relate back into the time domain the time domain function corresponding to that form in the of a rational polynomial.